As people of faith, we think that quality has as much to do with our Catholic heritage as with academics. At St. Paul the Apostle School, we have both. An excellent group of instructors, up-to-date curriculum, and above all, an atmosphere of faith that shapes the whole child, spirit, soul, and body. As I celebrate Mass for the school community every week, hear the children's confessions, lead them in benediction, and guide them in prayer, I see the students of St. Paul the Apostle grow in the ways that matter most, deepening their faith with Jesus Christ, attaining a respect for all people, and coming to know that living a fully human and spiritual life is what it's all about. At St. Paul the Apostle School, our motto is one in faith, one in service, one in Christ. With Jesus as our model master teacher, we strive to fulfill our mission of providing the best possible well-rounded Catholic education for children in the greater Joliet area. We draw diverse students from the city of Joliet and its surrounding villages. Our families and teaching staff maintain a loving and caring learning environment for our students. Our teachers infuse Catholic core values and beliefs throughout the curriculum, using the latest technology and instruction, and engage students in carefully structured group learning activities in which all students are held accountable for their learning. The family atmosphere here at St. Paul's helps our students to mature into the next generation of Catholic leaders of our society. Hi, my name is Raleigh Mudrin. I'm currently completing my 44th year at St. Paul's School. It's been a wonderful experience those 44 years. Over that time, I've taught a large number of students uh, in a variety of subjects. I've taught everything with the exception of computers and music, for which you probably would say thanks. One of the great things about St. Paul's has been the alumni website and our website. It's not unusual to come in in the morning and find an email from a student I had in class 35 years ago saying that they happened to come across the website and just want to let me know what they're doing and ask about other teachers and so on. So it's given an opportunity to see what they've done with their lives. Very often I like to look at the section of the newspaper where they have the announcements or weddings, because they always tell you what those people are doing now as far as their careers. And it's interesting to see what they've gone on to do. I'm always surprised at the great number of people who have gone into education. Teachers, counselors, a principal or two. We even currently have a superintendent of schools who's a former student. Other students who like student government, politics, a number of them have gone in <clears throat> on to be lawyers, uh, judges, one even reached the uh, Illinois Appellate Court. Love of politics has motivated one of our former students to end up in the uh, Senate chamber down in Springfield. Last week I opened the paper and one of our former students came to find out has started his own film production company. So it's nice to see the success those students have had. When I started here in 1966, this was a neighborhood school. Everybody walked to school. Today, that's not the case. Most of the students are coming quite a distance. Many of those students are children of former students. And I think it says something about the education at St. Paul's that these people would choose to 
same school for their children, and we thank them. My name is Sharon Given. I've been a third grade teacher at St. Paul's for nine years. In my classroom, students actively participate in their own learning. Students generate knowledge rather than just receive knowledge when they use a ramp, a small car, and the scientific method to investigate force and motion in science. Students generate knowledge rather than receive knowledge when a small group writes a script and performs perhaps a game show or a talk show featuring an invention in social studies. Games promote active learning. When third graders say to me, Mrs. Given, thanks for letting us play games to learn, I know they feel positive about their educational experience. Active learning promotes active thinking, cooperation, and oral communication skills. It fosters in students responsibility for their own learning. My name is Shannon Bobby and I have been a kindergarten teacher for five years. We offer a full day kindergarten program which allows our students to experience a full day of school activities. This program is successful because our students learn the discipline of a structured day while having time to rest and enjoy a snack. Our curriculum consists of language arts, religion, math, science, and social studies. The students also have the privilege of going to mass once a week, PE, music, and doing centers in the classroom. During the course of the day, the children make new friends and socialize during recess and lunch. Together with myself, Ms. Peterson, and Mrs. Brisky, our kindergarten aide, we create an atmosphere filled with God's love, learning, and self-esteem. 